I said action! Just put your mind to it and then you can do it. I'm the most talented and the most crazy. Chasing fame and fortune and still at school. Who has been helping you practice? No one. He's not one of the Beckhams, he's mine. Come on. Busy Kids is one of the UK's largest child talent agencies, run by No Nonsense boss, Debbie Clark. Cute as anything, but I just don't think she's ready. No. Tots. Eat the cake. <laughs> Teens. Oh, oh my God. And some of the powerhouse parents behind them. I have no idea where he forgets it from. Remember to make sure that you smash it, OK? Bye, go do some work. Pretend to be interested in what they're saying. The agency guides them through every stage of their journey. I want to thank the Academy for giving me this wonderful award. You have got me here tonight. No way. Oh, Nella got the job. <laughs> but the road to stardom can be a rocky one. She's still got the right hump, but the show must go on. It's complete bedlam. No! I need 100% more energy. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, but you might not get the job. That's life. For the lucky few, dreams do come true. Oh, Mum, that's me. Oh, well done. Oh, my God, I'm so famous. What's the number one word? Humble. Next question. Managing the hopes and dreams of the nation is Debbie and her team at Busy Kids. And today is just another ordinary day at the agency. I've got a brief in. We're filming a short film about zombie children. And I've been given your details as a potential agency to be able to supply a few key child actors to perform within our film. Zombies? Quite weird. <laughs> it's not your Berber, is it? No. <laughs> what age range? Seven to 13. I'd be surprised if every parent's going to agree to it. It is difficult, and, and our job is to speak to the clients and know exactly what the kids are going to be involved with. And then we have to find the right child that we think are equipped to, to handle it, and the parent that's going to be happy to let them do it. Leave that with me. Good afternoon, busy kids. Being in a low-budget horror film might not be for everybody, but for some parents, they see it as a stepping stone to bigger things. The award goes to... Aggie and Gracie! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm very lucky and I want to put it down to the three great Fs. Great faith, great family, great friends. Most importantly... <laughs> <gasps> Mummy! Thank you for this lovely award. Yes, results! You have got me here tonight. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I'll call the girls again. Party at my house. Today, the agency will be hosting a casting for a new short horror film, Zombie Playground. We're in this generation where kids love zombies and they're walking dead and stuff. They love arcade games and video games. In the old days, they probably would never come near a horror film in a million years, but today, mums and dads are more open to their children being involved as zombies. Despite it being a small production, the turnout for the casting is impressive. However, the producers are only casting 26 parts. Have you all checked in? Do your best zombie growl. <laughs> See, that's quite scary. I like that. So I want you all to walk aimlessly around in this area and just look as mean as you can. OK, remember, move your hands a little bit as well. Move your hands around. <laughs> what are you, you're backing off for. Also attending is seven-year-old Lydia and her nine-year-old sister, Aggie. Brand. Two of the agency's busiest siblings. Give me brains, you idiot. Brains. I started at two. I'm now seven, so um, that was about five years. Oh! I have a big personality than Lydia. She's more like the singer than the actor, and more the actor than the singer. Mum Lisa has high hopes for both her daughters. They are generally quite competitive. That's good in some ways, it gives them that energy to do what they're doing, but it can be quite draining at times. Do you fit? How do you feel? Oh, hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. <laughs> OK, nearly here. Get it, bitch! With the casting well underway, Lydia and Aggie only just make it. But they're used to rushing around the country. As Mum Lisa masterminds their route to stardom from their Cambridgeshire home. 
which she shares with her partner and the girl's brother, Harrison. As a youngster, I danced professionally for a short time in my early 20s, starting at holiday camps in summer season. I did cruise ships, I did cabaret circuits, and that's seeped through, through to my gals. But it's a passion that has bypassed her 12-year-old son. I'm not a fan of this. Do you sometimes come with us? Yeah, but that's do your homework. only if I have to. It's nice to spend some time together, though, when they're in classes, isn't it? No. Do homework. Yes, it is. Be me. I know it tends to be only me they like this with. If I wasn't here, they'd be as good as gold. That's the funny thing, you know, it's like really frustrating sometimes. They wouldn't dare do it for their dance teacher. <laughs> I could do tap to that. Mother and daughter's commitment is starting to pay off. Aggie certainly excelled and showed her strength on the Victoria Modesta video where she was absolutely brilliant. Lydia is now through to the final rounds for the Sound of Music UK tour. So she's done really, really well to get that far. You know, start, obviously they were starting with hundreds of kids. So she's down to the last four Gretels, um, which is really amazing. So we've got fingers crossed for next week. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to be zombies? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I want me mum. Oh my god. Most siblings I've got on my books, you've got one that gets picked all the time, unless they're twins for that reason. And then you get one that does it, and I feel so bad. Sibling rivalry is horrible, I do it with my sister. And uh, so I don't want to be encouraging anything like that, it's not nice, is it? Yeah, well, yeah, like I get lots of castings, and the next year she does. How do you feel if I was to ring up Mummy and say that she's got a job, and then the next day ring up and say, you got another job, and then the next day you got another job. What would you think about you? It's so bad. Mom thinks I'm cuter. Mom thinks I'm more grown up. Mom um, thinks I'm more cuter. <laughs> yeah, you've already said that. Everyone should get along. No one should be not friends. Stop talking about all of yourself. Talk about me, please. I don't want my brother to be a failure, and if he was. I will just help him get on the right path. In they go. You look similar, very similar. You twins. No. Like that. A bit like The Shining. They seem to be doing okay. They're the front. They've certainly not been shy, which is the main thing. Especially with my two being sisters and often going for the same path, so they look similar. It's harder when one gets it and the other one doesn't, but they, they, they cope okay with it. No smiling again. Chomping away. Yeah. Really enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Another parent who thinks this is a great opportunity for her six year old daughter, Lacey, is mum of two, Becky. You need to scrape your feet more, Lace. Walk like that. Put your head floppy, make it look like you're enjoying a bit of food, yeah? Go loose on your legs, put your head to the side. Move your eyes as well, all around to make the noises. Right now, fall on the floor. Drag yourself to the side. Put your head to the side. Drag yourself more, Lace. No. <laughs> it's her first audition. If she don't get it, I will be a little bit disappointed. I don't think she's bothered, to be honest. <laughs> It started from a year ago when the psychic come to the house. Obviously, I'm into all of that. It was really short and sweet on Lacey. She just said, your daughter, she's got a gift, and if you don't pursue it now, it's going to go. Also, as well, I've had two pigeons sat on my fence outside. I've actually Googled it because it's been happening to me for quite a while. It actually comes up as it's a sign and a message from someone. It was just the way that they were together. I don't know, I'm just staring in my window. And then yesterday, my best friend locked the door and she waved a feather in my hand, which was on my doorstep. But all these little things that keep happening, little signs, I don't know, I've just got a really good feeling. That's done. All done. I'm just infatuated, to be honest. I've, I've filmed her since she was, like, three, probably younger, when I look on my laptop that I hadn't looked on for a couple of years. So, now we're going to speak about some more animals. It's going to be a long story, though. I don't tell her to do any of this. She loves it. And one of the stealers stealed the baby bear. She definitely has got a gift. When I look at her, I think theatre, teaching as well, maybe presenting. Is that all we're going to do? We're going to speak about Peach. I just think it's the way she is, her charisma, the way she is as a person. She's only six, but I can see that already. Don't touch my hair! Oh, 
Lucy's gift is something that is lost on her 11-year-old brother, Kieran. Go over to the mirror and have a look, no. I want Kieran to get out of here. Right, you go out then, Kieran. Lacey is annoying. She gets me told off a lot. Come and try the dress on. No! What one do you like then, Lacey? She just thinks she's the best. Kieran, move out the way. Who do you think you are? Do you think that Lacey will make a good model? Lacey will be good at it, but I'll be better. Scary, be scary. Kieran! Come on! Because you're going in in a minute, please. Today, Debbie is hosting a rather unusual audition for a low-budget zombie film, and she has high hopes for 10-year-old Bronte, who is no stranger to the genre. She made her debut in feature film, Let's Be Evil. Let's Be Evil was the first sort of horror that she was paid to do, and that was quite freaky. At one point, they suffocate someone with a carrier bag. I'm scary when I had, like, the horror makeup on and stuff. However, for Let's Be Evil, we didn't do horror makeup. We just had a straight face and killed people. Come play with me. Come play with me. <laughs> <laughs> we did worry, will she have nightmares? Should we let her do it? But she loved it, absolutely loved it. Do you ever get criticism for letting your kids be in horror films? But it isn't scary. I mean, the scary thing about a film is the music. And yeah, the and the suspense. suspense. So... You get hair and makeup, and you get to go in your costumes. And then at, at lunchtime, you get to like go through and pick your food in like a buffet. And the food there was really nice. For Bronte, the modelling and acting jobs roll in. But for her teenage sister, Oriana, the parts are a little harder to find. Bronte is really photogenic. She stands out, whereas Oriana just doesn't feel confident enough with the pictures. You have to have the right look. Like, if you're casting for somebody with blonde hair, I, I couldn't get it because I haven't got blonde hair. So they do have a certain look in their head. Like, for every casting role, they'll have that look. And if, even if you're amazing, if you haven't got the look, you can't do it. Oriana likes beanies and all of that kind of punky, rocky, kind of troublemaker, leather jacket kind of looks. And I like kind of sweet, cute, pink and like tutu kind of looks. Show me yours on the walk. <laughs> zombies don't do that. Yeah, but I won't be like... You're not like the Mo Farah of zombies. <laughs> no. If I can help Bronte, I'll help her. Um, and I'm really always pleased when she gets a role, but sometimes Bronte gets so many and it's like, I'd really like my chance. Belle, Bronte, Ellie, Eleanor, Lacey. Because she likes to do what she wants to do, but she should have just listened. Turn round. Turn round. See, look, she's not listening now. So we're going to do the walk on the ground together, all around the place, scatter around, different directions everywhere. Growling as well, where's your growls? <laughs> For Bronte, being a seasoned pro means that her experience is serving her well. The cannibalism's good. Awesome stuff, keep going. While most of our junior zombies are thriving, Lacey has peaked. I think she's getting bored now. She don't want to do it now, but it's been here a long time now, hasn't it? Four hours since the casting started, and finally, it's time to find out who has won the parts. OK, uh, thank you very much, guys, for coming to us today. Um, we've had a long, long decision on who we're selecting. We've got number 22, Lydia. Well done, Lydia. <laughs> number 23, Agatha. For some, it's good news. Monte. But for others, not so well, much. didn't make it, don't feel you've been rejected. I'm really pleased that I got the car and I'm just really happy to do the start of the film. Who's having pizza? Definitely. What really surprised me about today is the amount of people that actually turned up. The level of enthusiasm from the parents and the kids, all the research they've done and everything and practising the walks, etc. Before, it used to be horror kids. No, no. Um, but not so much now, so it's good. It's time for everyone to head home, but for Lacey's mum, Becky, things are still unclear. Hiya. Can we um, talk to you and Lacey in the back? Yeah, of course, right? yeah. She really liked her, but she's just too easily distracted from a big scene. 
But saying that, we would like to use her either in a sort of promo <laughs> for it or a little quick snippet scene yeah. or something like that. She's really good at the raw. Yeah, the raw was terrifying. Yeah, that's Brilliant. fine. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. Right. Lovely. Nice to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm well made up. Really made up. Kieran's jealous. To be successful in a casting is you need to, A, you need to smile, B, you need to think. Practice makes perfect. Be happy and never, ever, give ever, up. ever, ever, ever give up. And C, you have to have a little fun in life. Why can the pirate play cards? Because he was sitting on the deck. <laughs> Mum of two, Becky, runs a small interior design business from her shed. And today, Liz is helping her with orders. Why don't you make this pom-pom for me, yeah? Oh, I'm here, I think. You will be able to. Because you're like me, you'll be able to do anything. I've done a lot of jobs. I started work when I was about 16, babysitting. I've done two years hairdressing, bar work, waitressing. I've done loads, so... Her inspiration for the business came from one of her idols. Katie Price, she had one of her magazines out and it just showed her with a room with all making stuff. And it, I don't know, it just inspired me a little bit, so I started blinging stuff up and that. Obviously, people put her down and that, but she's a businesswoman. It doesn't, you know, everyone's going to judge her at the end of the day. But... Remember, if you walk, please. You know, she goes out to work, she earns her own money, she looks after her kids, and she says it how it is. <coughs> and I like that in girls. I've always loved my interior design and I've always wanted to do it. It's taken a bit of a back seat at the moment. All my energy now is going on to my kids and I'm going to make this work. Hi, right, Kieran, I want you to do as you told me, right? Lacey's brother, Kieran's coming in today. All right. A little bit more focused, I'd imagine. He's older, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Rich and Mar want to do modelling. I heard Lacey was going to get loads of money. And then I got a little bit of jealousy. He'll make a good model. You've got the look of the future. For all of Becky's confidence, Lacey doesn't agree. I'm going to go shopping. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to photograph him without Mum. You're confident, aren't you? Come on, come with me. It's Kieran's turn to have a little bit of fun, yeah? I don't think Lacey was too pleased. You know, she's the little princess and she's normally in the, in the spotlight, so she was in the background trying to get her attention. It's normally all about her and today it wasn't, so... Yeah, of course I'll tell you, you get used to that. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed all the time. Putting his early nervousness aside, Beautiful. Kieran soon relaxes. Now you look even more relaxed. Lovely. I didn't know he wanted to do it, it's only because he's asked me and said that he wants to do it. I'm thinking he'll be good at the modelling, whereas Lacey's going to be more the acting, I think, because she's more, she's more, you know, louder. <laughs> Lean that shoulder forward towards me into the camera. Yeah. Concentrate. No stereo eyes. Great stuff. Right. Thanks. Although he's never been in front of a lens before, Debbie seems impressed. Took direction really well. At the beginning, was a little bit static and a bit awkward with his mouth. To be honest, it's the first time he's ever done anything like this. Yeah. So. It's nice that Kieran's having his photos done as well, isn't it? Would you like to have your pictures taken together one day? No, why not? Bye, Girls, they grow up with makeup and getting dressed up and selfies. Yeah, bye. See ya. So for him to walk in, you know, this age, it's a very difficult age for boys. Um, I'm over the moon with how well he did. Get him a job. Submit him now. He's going to cut it. In Cambridgeshire, sisters Lydia and Aggie have had a busy week. <laughs> Today, Liddy will find out whether she's beaten over a hundred other kids for a coveted place on the Sound of Music tour. I have been checking emails a lot more regularly. Does it sound terrible if I say about a thousand times today? <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessive and I follow, obviously, busy kids and lots of the other agencies as well, so I can see what they're doing, what jobs they're getting. If you don't get it, you don't hear anything. Child performers earn between 30 and 60 pounds an appearance. But being in a West End production is one of the more sought-after jobs in the industry. Yeah. Lydia's coping better than I am. You know, obviously, I don't show her that. But underneath, it's just me, who's a woman on the edge at the moment. Hey. Hello. 
Lisa Ward. Hi, Lisa. It's Debbie Busy Kids. Hiya, Debbie. How are you doing? Sorry to ring you so late on a Friday. Um, I've got some good news for you. Gretel in Sound of Music. Oh, fantastic. That's absolutely brilliant. We've been yeah, on edge. Brilliant. Oh. I know. I know. Yay. She's done so well with Really proud of her. Really are. I'm so thrilled. I'm absolutely, I'm almost in tears. So it's a yes then, yeah? <laughs> yes, Lydia, are you going to accept it? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll let them know. Dawn will get all the relevant over to you. Thank you so much, Debbie. Tell her well done from us. We will do. Take care. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. Oh, my goodness. She got it. Oh, okay, so, now so, so it now makes all that waiting <gasps> worth it. Oh my god, I'm so famous. Here, you're all great. Sometimes I get flack from family members saying, oh, what a waste of time. Gosh, all that money it takes, you know, you spent to get to London to go to the audition. But when we get the yeses, that's such an amazing feeling for them. They're so excited. You know, what a wonderful childhood to have. Oh, done. Are you happy? Mm. Yeah. To get to the audition stage is an achievement. To get recalled is a hell of an achievement. To get chosen is amazing. It takes a special kid to do that, and to have that on your CV is invaluable. Every time one of them gets in castings, and it does happen, you know, Lydia recently, she's had four castings in a row. Aggie hasn't had one, so Aggie's a bit, gets a little bit despondent. Why am I getting picked? But I have to say to her, this will happen. So I'm trying to teach them when one of them gets a job, the other one doesn't. We support, we're proud of them, we support them, because next time it'll be your turn. <laughs>
But it looks like Lacey doesn't want to play a ball. She still put the right hump, but the show must go on. No! We've got to get our pictures, we've got to get this shoot done. I've only got a little while left. It's so she calms down and gets breaking on. You know what I mean? That's what I'm hoping for, but kids are kids. After a little bit of a pep talk, a reluctant Lacey takes her place in the group. I promise you, you'll get this straight back after, right? If you do this one big jump and a star, a star jump, yeah? You've got to do this one shot, then you can have it tell you, right? Big smile! Yeah. Yeah. And you can have a win with it. Big yeah. smile! Now, say like one, two, three. On three, I want to see how high you can jump. One, two, two three. three! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. like there you go, you can have that for me. Yeah, go on. Even though Lacey finally got involved, it was hardly the performance that Becky was hoping for. It's a shame. I think she's absolutely exhausted. And I think everyone watched her earlier, she's like, I'm stressed out. For a six-year-old to say that, it's quite a big thing. She done really well on the first half of the shoot, and obviously it's a learning curve for me. Obviously I can guide her in the right way, but I don't want to change her personality. I think that's what makes her unique. Kids can be unpredictable, younger kids especially. Great as, as all of the kids are, when you're dealing with a little young girl like that, yeah. you don't want it to hinder anything that she can do in the future. It's been several days since the zombie casting. Today is Bronte's birthday and her parents have gone all out. When Bronte gets up in the morning, she has a ribbon from her bed all the way down the stairs and she has to follow it down and then she'll find the treasure at the end. Am I allowed to open them now, Mummy? Darling baby Bronte, wishing a wonderful daughter every special birthday with lots and lots of love. We cannot believe you were ten. Have a magical birthday. All our love, Mummy and Daddy. Uh, one bite of the apple and the magic begin. Then at 5.25 we welcome you to the world. Oh, 5.29. <laughs> I had a lovely childhood while my mum was alive. You know, just everything was beautiful and magical and then there was no magic at all. Because I lost my mum really young. My childhood stopped that day, never to return really, until the girls came along and then it comes all back. You were the best little sister in the world. All my love, Oriana. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> both our children, they both had medical concerns, which made us realise even more how precious they are. Yeah. Ariana had a, a heart condition, although it's much milder now, but at one point it was very serious. And with Bronte, she's having fits. Yeah, she hasn't had some for a while now, but there is this tendency that when she had her last febro convulsion, she also she had a body. mild stroke, so all the face sagged. And when you're there in that moment, it's just horrific because mm. you just know that your life is your children and something's not quite right that you can't fix. <gasps> We always try to make sure the children know that they have each other, they have other family and friends as well, but they will always have the memories we've all created for when we're not around. We've gone for a sort of a sweet look, so there's lots of imitation sweets and sweet decorations, and it's very colourful and bright, and then you just sort of go along pretending that you're in a sweet type land. I still see things quite childlike. I think I still believe in Father Christmas quite happily, and um, and it can just be something really silly, but to them it, it's the world. So hopefully it will cascade down the generations and keep the magic alive. Today, Lydia has her final rehearsal for the Sound of Music tour, a production that will run until July. Suddenly, the enormity of the job has hit home. I'm going to my rehearsal, and we're going to be working all together, so all the Gretels will work all together. <laughs> think we're here? Yeah. yeah. You think you can't do it. You you can't, you can't just like hide over your like if you had a jumper and if you don't just hide even if you're scared you need to be confident okay let's go i think everybody else is eight years and above so lydia's the youngest at seven years old and she said she had butterflies in her tummy but she was really looking forward to it 
Let's put all your bags over there and then we're going to get some. We've got lots of It's not long before Lydia is mingling with the other cast members. That's Sophie. I'm Sophie, she's Ivy. Yeah. And I'm Olivia. <laughs> and you're Gretel. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I've never been a governess before. How do I start? Originally, the stage show opened on Broadway in 1959. In 1965, it was made into the film starring Julie Andrews and it went on to win five Academy Awards. That's how you run. I don't want any of this. <laughs> OK? That's how you run. You're normal. Today's rehearsals are being led by award-winning choreographer Bill Deemer. His credits have included Evita, Cats, Cabaret and Strictly Come Dancing. The first round of auditions I saw 268 children. They're actually 65, 75% of the show. So they can't just be a chorus. They've got to be able to do everything, act, sing and dance, or forget it, it won't work. I will never ever treat them like, hello darling, hello little one, I won't do that. They're young adults. You give them all the love and support that they need, but you've got to push, because if they think they can get away with something, they will. Now that's what it has to be. What happens is, because you're lazy at the moment, and you are, yeah, oh, I've just got to give up and walk over here a bit now. Yeah, and then, oh, hello father, yeah, you can't do that. That's the, it has to go right through the show. So here we go, a five, six, seven, eight, so. There you go. Never any less than that, right? I know it's hard what I'm asking, but that's what it is. That's what I want, yeah? OK. A short lunch break provides Liddy with time to bond further with her fellow actors. What have you done before? Uh, nothing. <laughs> this isn't my first show. Is this your first show? This is my first thing. What have you done? I did Annie in the West End. What, what have you done? Um, um stuff. OK. <laughs> 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 I never dreamt that she would be on a professional stage at seven years old, so it's, it's absolutely wonderful for her. She's already talking about auditioning for Gypsy and Matilda next year. As long as that's what she wants, we'll, we'll go with that. In three days, Lydia and the rest of the cast will leave their families and fly to Belfast for their opening night. Lydia has what I call spark. She gets in there and that face, and of course we're still in a rehearsal situation. Wait till there's an audience. It's been five weeks since 26 of Debbie's kids were cast in a brand new zombie film. And today, Bronte, Agatha, and Lydia get to become horror stars. Yeah! Oh, gee. Nice. Creepiest child on set. You've got to kind of let go of all your table manners when you're eating people, really. No knife and forks. <laughs> Whilst the actors are getting into character. I'd like to get this in the background. Jason, the director, is preparing for his first scene. <laughs> Uh, the, the weather stays as it is and doesn't rain. <laughs> That's the only way, I think. It should be quite a laugh, it should be fun. Each set comes with its own problems, and this one's got 35 children. <laughs> so, mental! <laughs> if I was in a zombie movie, that would mean I would have the whole guns and swords and things, but I don't like um, weapons. Really, that fake, Oliver? I would scream and blink a lot, like that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that didn't work. Like that. Okay, that all worked. <laughs> they just pretend people in, you know, makeup and that stuff. Debbie's kids usually spend their days modelling or working on commercials. So joining the ranks of the Walking Dead is a step into the unknown. What are we supposed to be doing? Basically, you're going to be scaring me. Why? Because you're zombies. So what is it about? Basically, people are worshipping the zombie children. Are you going to die when we get you? Yes, you lot will be eating me. <laughs> Come towards me like I'm your dinner. All right, die, mate. Come on, just eat. <laughs> the kids are embracing their inner zombie. But for one parent, it's a little too much. You have to sort of, like, separate it and think, I'm never going to see him like that. He's never going to be a zombie and he's never going to look like that. Hopefully. <laughs> zombie playground, slate 28, take one. Action! Zombie Playground will make its debut at film festivals around the world in the hope that it will be developed into a feature film. 
Oh. Needs that on his CV. Dead person. <laughs> awesome, that's yeah. brilliant. Right, cool. right, we're going to move on to the next bit. Kirsty, where are you? As Jason, the director, moves on to the next scene, it's clear that his earlier fears were valid ones. Oh my God, look at the rain. It is outside, it's a location show, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be wet zombies today. Oh my God. It's good, because of the setting the, the ambience for it. You don't want it all sunny and bright and cheery, I suppose, but what about the makeup? It's all gonna run and... Oh, I'm sure they've got proper Oh, so the kids, what about my makeup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look scary? Yes. You look scary. Wow. <laughs> Have you seen yourself? Don't follow me. <laughs> How long is that taking? It takes like an hour or so. Oh, she's like that when she does her makeup. I said you could scare me. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> I know they've got so much that they're trying to cram in because it's weather. It's actually cold as well. With the weather worsening, Jason, the director, needs to film the final scene now. For this, he needs more actors, and he spotted some potential in Bronte's sister, Oriana. <laughs> well, you seem quite good at the zombie things. Have you ever done any zombie? In? I've been a zombie before. So you want to be in this film as well, then? I'd love to. Yeah. Go and see the makeup artist, and I'll see you guys Thank in the set a bit. Thank you so cool. much. Thank You're you. more than welcome. For 13-year-old Oriana, it's the lucky break she's been craving. Are you ready? Yeah, I did. Oh, With just minutes to spare, she's rushed through hair and makeup. Come on, guys, can we get them out, please? Cool. How are you feeling? Awesome. Ready to go. It's fantastic. It's the first time I've had this kind of an opportunity. It's amazing because I wasn't even expecting it. So it's like complete excitement and joy. All back, all back, please, all back. In order to get the final scene in the bag, they'll have to move quickly. This is the scene we're going to do. Megan's here, so we're all converging to her or move into her, and you push them into the ice cream man. Right. Okay, get ready. Action! I'm really sad it's over. I want to do more zombie filming. My next job will be anything but as well. I think I remember this forever. I definitely won't forget this. It was just really fantastic. <laughs> After three very wet takes, it's finally a wrap. My advice to people that haven't got their big break is just to keep on going, keep going to training, don't give up because it will come. You don't know what's around the corner. Lydia, have an amazing time, lots of love and big hugs from your friend. Good luck and enjoy your show. Lots of love, Abby. I'm going to different places and I'm going on a jet or a plane. I'm going to miss my family. I am really excited at the same time. There's your trousers. It does feel very real now, um, but I think once she's on the flight, we can sort of go... <gasps> and then, um, you know, just, just worry about her being away then. I'll put that in the top there, but I won't zip it up. Cause For sisters Aggie and Lydia, this will be the first time they've been separated. Make sure you've got in your bag your phone charger, your teddy bear. I want build a bear and uh, my bear? owl. I'll be fine. Oh, what books? Choose your books. <laughs> Have I got the beach fairy? No, oh, yeah. Does I can read? And for all the sibling rivalry, Everything it looks like Aggie will miss her younger sister. Instead. And you don't want to take that book? Uh, a little rucksack, I know where to yeah? put them. I know underneath she's really proud of her sister too for what she achieves, um, although she'd never ever admit it to you. Certainly Lydia, she's very independent, she's very willful, she knows what she wants, so I think, I don't have any doubt that she won't cope. You have to be in it and understand it and you have to know your child loves it and thrives from it to be able to let them go and do that. I always know Aggie's going to be fine because she has so much spirit about her. Whatever she does, I know she's going to do great at. A couple of family members and um, a couple of friends just kind of gone, oh gosh, you know, I didn't realise she'd have to stay away. And they've been quite surprised when I said, well, actually, no, she's going away between three and six days a time. Right, sit down, coach. But again, I think, you know, that's something I've had right from the beginning. Oh, am I happy with her doing that? I've had quite a few months to come to terms with that now. 
Oh, it's going to be a heavy one, lid, isn't it? Let me do it. I think I'll be fine until she actually goes, and I have to actually go. Right, oh, God, I feel a bit emotional now thinking about it. When she actually goes through the gate kind of thing, you know, I think that will be... I can't cry when I'm driving. <laughs> Made me think about it now. <laughs> She'll be fine. Are you going to miss me? I will miss you. Yes. <laughs> I'm smiling. It'll be a bit quieter. The next time Lydia will see her mum and family will be in six nights in Belfast. Will you hug me? I guess so. It's been several days since Lacey and Kieran did their photo shoot together. And in Essex, Becky's had a change of heart and is feeling reflective. Clacton was a really fun day, but I think what it was is there was quite a lot of people surrounding. And I think she thought it was all about her, so she went a bit deverish. I have my salad. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Can I have my salad, please? Right, I'm just putting the olive oil on that on and then you can have it. And you want yes. olives? Do you want... Do you, want, do you want chicken? No. I think for the minute, as a mum, um, obviously I'm not going to push her in to do anything she don't want to do, so I've decided to just take her out for a little while. Obviously, Kieran's going to be doing it, so I think maybe if she watches him do it, I'm still going to let her have time out and just give her a little break. Do you want halami as well? What's halami? The hot cheese. And obviously it's a learning curve for me, and what I've learnt so far is that when I'm around watching her, she's going to play up. In the future at castings, I would like to take a back seat as much as possible and not really be in her face. But I think with Kieran, I'm really excited. The reason why I want to do modelling is to get a lot of money. If I make a lot of money, I'm just going to buy clothes, gadgets and all that. I think Mum, not Lacey. Lacey will get her own money. Are you eating with your mouth closed? Yeah. They are quite strong kids. When you look at Lacey, I don't think you quite get what's, got, what's to come with her until she opens her mouth. No! Guys, like, stop shouting, please! I mean, she's cute, but obviously she says whatever she feels at the time. Mum! Yeah? You didn't give me proper onion. You've got spring onion? I don't want spring onion. You either like her or you don't. If you don't, I always say, do you know where the door is? That's it. Same with myself, really. Do you know what I mean? Where's that halal we gone? Lacey? It's the big night in Belfast, and there to show their support are Aggie, Lisa and Harrison. Tonight, Lydia will make her debut in the Sound of Music tour. She'll appear on stage with rising star Danielle Hall. Here we are, got our ticket. So excited. First time I've watched one of my family members. <laughs> oh, look, wow! <laughs> it's a big poster, isn't it? Oh. You never know, one day she might be headlining. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I think all my friends smile and go, here she goes again because I am so proud of them, incredibly proud of them for what they've achieved. Um, and it is lovely to share that with friends and family and for them to say, wow, well done. And obviously they're still only seven and eight. They might turn around to me at 16 and say, actually, we've had a great time, but we don't want to do this anymore. Obviously, I'm going to say that's fine, um, but secretly I will be disappointed because I guess if I'm perfectly honest, it is my dream as well as their dream. <laughs> I feel so happy and relieved now. We've got the first one done, and you wouldn't have known it was their first time. I'm so proud of her. For Lydia, her opening night was a success. Hello! <laughs> <gasps> Meg! Oh, look who's here to see 
Yeah. I like to wear new clothes on with a candle. It would be a dream come true for both of them to continue to do as well as they're doing, um, to get some really good roles, um, whether that be on theatre or film. Bye bye. I love you. Mm. Love you. Well done. They've worked so hard, um, and I know they've got the ability to do it. Love you. Bye bye, mummy. I love you. But at the moment, they're thriving. They're getting so much from it. Of course, like any mother, I am incredibly proud. Fresh from her successful tour of the UK, Lydia has teamed up with her sister Aggie and appeared in a new advertisement for a leading UK adventure brand. Lacey's break from show business continues, leaving Kieran alone in the spotlight, but Mum still believes her gift will see her hit the big time. True to form, Bronte continues to thrive, and inspired by her cameo, Oriana feels more confident in front of the lens. Thanks for watching, Natcha. Make sure you subscribe for more modern parenting.